Right, just arrived here at Scotty's. Uh, there's another problem that's occurred. There's an oil leak on this little still forklift. So he says that's the first job. So that's what we'll do first, then, isn't it? And he says the bearing's squeaking. That bearing I fitted to that machine the other last week. It's squeaking or something. It's the bearing, they reckon. So whether they've been greasing it, I don't know. But every single time that I come around, it's seen you got another man. Let's go, people. teeth down here and what's happened these bolts have come loose and they've all bent that's how you adjust you when this goes around them teeth go in between there and then you can adjust the jaws up closer to it depending on what size you want your material coming out so say if you want it small you'll adjust these teeth up real close to these and the product coming out will be smaller but oh, you can imagine how much pressure is on these can't you okay now Rattle themselves loose, they do. Awesome. She's out. Surely we've got to put them in like that. Because when you're turning it, look, it's turning it all, isn't it? Hey, it's turning it all. Hey, it's jammed in. But no, it's not, they're not jammed in, though, look, are they? They're all floating about at the bottom. Oh, they're on like a rail. Oh, they've all dropped through because you can turn them all. They're all right. whipping it off. Let's take that out. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, have you got a socket for this? I can get you one, Mitch. Do you want your daddy to get you one? Yeah. Yeah, I've never worked on one of these shredders before, but I'm, I'm just playing by ear, basically. But I can see the problem, what they're having. Because them, them lugs, what I just had, I don't know what it's done with. They're meant to sit in these, in the in like a keyway and they're not they're just spinning at the bottom of it it's hard to show you because you can't see it there very good but they're just spinning around basically well let's take this cover off then let's take it off the only shredder i know is off the teenage mutant ninja turtles i've got it yeah Sam. I've got a breakdown cut to that. Well, they've dropped down too far, haven't they? Surely, look, they can spin around. No, they're bent, aren't they? They must be. Yeah, they are, like, bent down a tree, not plate, isn't it? You need to undo these Allen keys, I think, Rob. Yeah. And then lift it up, lot. Same with, same with this one here, lot. Right, I've got to go, boys. I've got a breakdown on that air leak on a lorry. Uh, I don't know. Not building up air or something. On one of Scotty's ones. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's up with that shredder. You know, because them bolts come loose, but was they ever tight? Because, you know, when you put that bolt down, the lug at the bottom, what's meant to be held in the keyway, is meant to be stayed there so you can tighten it up. But at the minute, the way it is at the minute, because they bent down, is that lug will just be spinning around with the bolt, won't it? So it needs to straighten them holders up so them lugs are actually in the keyway, so when he puts his bolt in, it actually tightens up right. 
but Scotty's uh, oh, Scotty, poor Scotty, he's got some problems today. <laughs> it's uh, it's got to go get some new bolts, and I've got this breakdown on now. So it's all hands on deck, isn't it? I feel like hotels in this yard, isn't it? You come to do one thing and you end up doing three other. What is wrong with this belt? Honestly. Yeah, you come to do one thing and you end up doing something that's completely different. Three other different jobs. Never mind. That's just the way this job is, isn't it? That's why I like it, because it's spicy. Ha! I like it spicy. Whoa, yuck, yuck. Oh, Hi, drive! Hey! <laughs> oh no! We like a bit of trouble. Uh, is the air up or not? Like, is it? It's not the one. Yeah. Two and half in one three. Just switch it off then, drive. Yeah, it must be going out as fast as it's going in because it doesn't leak for long. You can see where it's blown. Oh, was that not on it before? Is that where it's blown yeah. then? It, it, it blew under here. And shot oh, did you hear it banging them? Yeah. Oh, so something has gone real bad then. Oh. Right, if you strike her up then, drive, I'll get underneath it and then obviously I'll get you to stop it so I can try and pinpoint it as quick as I can. All right. Yeah, brakes on, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Like the Nottingham Forest! Archie supports Nottingham Forest! Archie, our lad! Yeah, switch off! <sighs> At least it's an easy fix. See that lot? That's come out, look. Am I alright now? Alright, I'll come out. Gotta be careful because it's a narrow road down here. Get my legs bloody run over, wanna? We don't want that, do we? So all I need is a new one of them lot. Am I alright, clear? Yeah. Ah. At least it's an easy touch run. Oh. No, it's blown it off look. Yeah, that one was on it. it was a plastic one. They're all right, them plastic ones, but I'm going to put a brass one on it. A bit better, a bit stronger they are. Right, Sean, that's it. Am I clear to get out? Yeah. Strike her up. I think that. I think that was it, I think. A simple fix. As Sean said, we don't often get fixes like that, do we? All right. When it's built up, Sean, fully built up, switch it off and I'll just have a listen. Oh, that's lovely. That's oil spinning going around. That's lovely. You'll be on your merry way, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say I won't hear then now, will I? No, It'll be on the no, fucking phone in five minutes. <laughs> no problem, Sean. See you bet. That's what we like, isn't it? A happy driver now it gets on his way. That job didn't take long then, did it? That was good. Mind you, it might have done. Uh, luckily, he got it off site when he rang me uh, and said he's got the air leak. Uh, the first thing I told him to do was get off site as soon as you can uh, and don't use your brakes very much to use your air up which luckily it did because it could have been a lot worse you know if we was on site I might have had to go and sign in go and do an health and safety thing look at a film I could have been an hour just going in the bloody place eh? so it's, it's good that it was it was there and it only took freaking two minutes to fit it 
people would say, yeah, but Chris, you'll still charge them, get paid for it, even if you were sat there looking at, at, at a film or doing your health and safety thing. Yeah, which I would, I'd still charge him. But I grew up with Thomas the Tank Engine uh, as a cartoon, obviously. Uh, and that had a story behind it where, you know, if you're not a real useful engine and, and really hard working, you get chucked on the fucking scrappy with Thomas the Tank Engine. That fat controller didn't mess around, you know, he was ruthless. He was, he was ruthless with their engines. If they weren't really fucking pulling their weight, they got fucking scrapped. That fat controller, he didn't mess around at all. And that's why I grew up on, you see, on that kind of TV. Like your postman Pat and all that. You know, you're proper on him, no, not, not this animated shit, where it's like the proper thing there, like, what's it called, stop motion. Nowadays, the cartoons now that the kids look at, they've got no storyline to them around. It's a load of shit. It's all like uh, animated stuff and that. And there's Cocomelon. 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 Back in my day, we had stories to our cartoons and morals. <laughs> Classy. Isn't it? Freaking hell. Back in my day, the cartoons, they didn't mess around on those cartoons. <laughs> You know if Pat didn't deliver his fucking post on time, he could get the fucking sack he got. <laughs> could they? Now he's got, now I've seen posts from Pat now, he's got helicopters, he's got all kinds of rabble. It's fucking, it's bizarre man, isn't it? He's meant to be a nice local postman and he's got quads, motorbikes, fucking helicopters, trains, he's got everything. And he's one pissing man. I don't know how he does it. This today, in it? Modern age, isn't it? Bizarre. Then kids will be growing up thinking, well, I'm going to be like Postman Pat. Like, he's got everything. He's got trains, he's got planes, he's got everything. No, mate, it's not real life. All he's got is a freaking van. That's all he had, a van. A man in a van. <laughs> and just a freaking car, isn't it? Not all these helicopters and that. Lifting cars off hills and they just, come on. Come on. I say to, to my kids all the time, it's not taking part that matters, it's winning kids. Don't go in there if you know you're not gonna fucking try your 100% and, and fucking get the win. Don't even bother. Winning that matters, not taking part. <laughs> <laughs> they know what I'm like, don't they? We always have a laugh about that with him. You know whenever they're doing sports throw, I say, remember kids, not taking part that matters, it's winning, okay? I think you get them in the right frame of mind, you see. Then they go in there thinking, right, I've got to win, got to win, got to win, got to win. Even if they don't win, it don't matter to me. Couldn't give a fuck. But still, you've got to try your best, don't you? At least. At least go in there thinking you're going to win. Ah, oh, that's good. The yard's on shutdown for dinner. So I can grease that bearing up, can't I? Booyakasha! Good boy! Are you on shutdown now, red boy? Yeah, they shouldn't be out now, lad, but then they probably want to hurry up, don't they? Fucking hell, what a mess this is. Oh. Oh, well, he's got another one there. What's up with that one then? The grease is coming out no matter how much they push this on. So, this is food board then, isn't it? Good if I've got some, isn't it? Yeah, nice new end. Now we'll get some grease in there. Hey, I don't know, eh? Ah. Oh, right. boys have been busy. I swapped him. Oh, oh, was the thread fucked? Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet because it's been pissed up like, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, because it's been down a bit. Was that one of the ones that bent then? Yeah. Rob wants to say hello to one of his relatives. Logan. Logan. Logan, hey, mate. Struggle on. It's got a bit of pick these ones up then. Which one's the long one? They're all the same. 10.9 high tensile. Ah, these are only 8.8 .8 look, aren't they? Yeah. Some of them are 10.9. Yeah, so the lads have moved these paddles lot what they sit on. Because some of these were bent down.
Hi, my name is a professional struggler and I only use degreasing as my lubricant. Also, it can be used at home for food care. <laughs> hey, Mitch. Rob? Yeah. See? No sponsors in this video. <laughs> Mitch is looking at me, gone out here like, what are you doing? Is that a proper thing? What? Are you actually sponsored by these people? <laughs> Mitch, come on! Get with it, Mitch! Are we, are we trying the threads in these ones? I don't know if we haven't, have we? That was Mitch's job, I do believe. Yeah. Mitch? No. Never been my job here. Oh, yes, it is. You're right there, Mitch. If in doubt, blame somebody else. That's what I say. Look, this one. This one's cross threaded. I can tell it is. Don't worry, right. Look, it's fucking looks it off. Pissed up, look, looks it. Yeah. That one needs coming out, Rob. Have oh, you got another spare one? No. Oh, fuck it now. Is that not going in? This is why we've got to check them before. Yeah, so we've got to undo these Allen keys and got that down so we can get that, that wedgie out. Wedgie out, wedgie out, wedgie out, wedgie out, wedgie out, wedgie out. I've done it, greased it, yeah. Start it up, dude. Yeah, try it. Make sure. I've done it, I've greased it, so we'll have a listen for it. Keep, keep your ear out. If it still squeeze, come and shout, mate. Have faith, man. Yeah, look at the threads in that, Rob. It's foobard, man. We ain't got another spare either, have we? You best, yeah, best go looking for one. I ain't got Marie threader with me. Not that big anyway, it's back, back at the workshop. I've got a plan. I've got a plan, Robert. I have a plan. What I'm going to do is get one of these old bolts and put it in through that side there, and then all the way through to try and clear out and re-straighten that thread up. That's my plan. I'll need my degreasing spray as well and a vice. Oh, we're lucky, lot. Rob's found one, a spare one. This is your last spare one, Rob, is it? That's it, Rob. Beautiful. Here's the boss. Oh, what? Two new trucks? Yeah, two new trucks. Oh, yeah. What, blackens? Like what, just like the blacken, though? Same setup? They're not, yeah. yeah. But they're not, uh, not they're like that. Yeah, same order, yeah. 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 They're getting renewed Saturday. Well, that's how it should work. So, on these and all, this one's already been turned, looked, it's worn on both ends. Uh, you get you get two lives with them, so you turn them round and reuse them again. But these ain't got much life left in them, Rob, are they? Have these got much life left in them? Probably about another week, probably about four or five days. On the road. What, and then, and then what, do you have to replace these? Yeah. When you take them out, you get lips and you So you have to grind them up to then, to then turn them around? Clever idea though, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Uh, basically all it is, is that fucking drum turning and all this fucking stuff just getting jammed and cut up in these jaws, isn't it? As that turns around. I bet it cuts lovely, don't it? When, when, you know when they're new and they're new? What about fucking minced it? Yeah. I'll just get some of my degreasing lubricants on it. Have you got a bike? No, not on the van. I thought you had one in there. I ain't got one in there. We're trying to re-thread this one because we've got another... Have we got another one that's bad down there? I don't think so, no. Oh, no, I think it's around here. Oh, is it? You know what I'm like, Rob? <laughs> Gotta use me decreasing lubricant on everything. Oh, that should be sweet now, Robert. Bloody good show! Bloody good show! What a good show! Yeah, she'll go. Rob, what
happier than that I've had to re-thread like put the thread in from the other way because there was leading nowhere and nowhere fast at least it's the central estimate that's it fuck it, you ain't got much clearance on them Rob because before I tighten everything up I tried to get these ones in them, them ones secure them back to the adjuster there and this one is not going anywhere so they're crush threaded and all and I don't know how many more is going to be cross threaded and all do I? No. so all of them could be cross threaded for all I fucking know so we put all them on when really, we shouldn't put them on yet until we check these. But again, you live and you learn, don't you? We're just beginners, ain't we, Rob? Yeah. It's a struggle, isn't it? It's a struggle. Don't you put on my phone? Well, it's about 10,000 pounds an hour when it's not running, so... Fucking hell. Yeah. Unless you get the fit drive, don't we say it? Well, you know, they're nice and possible. <laughs> is these bolts here go through there and tighten this wedge up lot tighten it up to these stoppers here and here so really what we've got to do before we tighten these top bolts up we've got to get these in tight so that's back and then tighten the top ones up to clamp it down that's the plan anyway what holds them blades in them rob is that the only thing that holds them in yeah, yeah. that goes in here and that sits on them blades what, what stops these going that way then? Nothing. Oh really? That's why these bolts are 900 newton camping in there. Huh? Anyway, we're struggling here because that fucking thread there is fucking bollocks in there. Uh, and there's not a lot I can do about it because I haven't got a re-thread or a row like that. So what we're going to do is try and run an old bolt in and out of it to try and clean the thread up a bit. Uh, and I might have to get a shorter bolt.
It's indestructible, my phone. Yeah, so we've got to do the same on all these lot now. Put them up, tighten them up, make sure them adjusters are butted up, and then tighten these up. miles off down this end Rob well I'll adjust this end up then oh we've just been having this fucking struggle me and Rob out haven't we Rob uh, everything's a fucking struggle here just getting one bolt in oh fucking nightmare yeah that's about that right? about that yeah 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 go on then go again Rob whoop yeah Yeah, quarter of an inch all the way round it, so is that all right? Right, then, we just need to bar these up then, Rob, now. At least now, though, it's replaced all them bolts with high tensile bolts. We've adjusted everything up proper. We, we know everything is going to be tight and that, so hopefully they won't have any more issues with it for a bit, will they? Well, they will have, because obviously it knocks itself apart, doesn't it, but... I've quite enjoyed it, to tell you the truth, because you know, I've never worked on one before. So to find out how it actually works is quite interesting. I enjoyed it. It's good. Oh, the boys are here already on the job. I oh, just went round the yard trying to find someone. Come back at these two are on it, look, are they? Well trained, aren't they? Look at her. Another boo boo, what we made there. We put the fucking bolts in with the washers on it before we put the covers on. Then Mitch comes and says, Oh, no, you won't get them covers on without taking them bolts out, putting them bolts in after because they took it off. You see, I didn't. Fucking the, the struggles. Yeah, good idea, safety lock, isn't it? Has it done it? Yeah. Yeah, we had to try the door because sometimes it uh, has trouble sensing it that it's shut. And sometimes you have to mess around with them things in there to get it to sense that it's shut. So we just thought we'd try it first. That's the safety lock lock. Look at Will go. He's a bloody good lad, isn't he? I am William Wallace. And I see a whole lot of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. Now, will you fight? You come here to fight as free men, and free men you are. What would you do without freedom? Well, anyone? Anyone? <laughs> That's how you get the lads working, you see. You have to, you have to do like a, a speech. Next little job is the brushes on here. Look at them, look. They've got no brushes left. Have they? So we've got to change the brushes on them. That's a nice tin box, but they come in. That ain't going to be a quick job, is it? Yeah, it will be a quick job. I'll make it a quick job. Got the old wear and tear out of them ones, haven't they? Even this can't be simple, look, look, that's all been dinted in, so I can't get to my bolts, lot at all. That's them all always popped off, isn't it? Now I've just got to remove the old brushes and then put the lovely new ones on. Ah, Rob's going to gear his hand, ain't you, Rob? Yeah. It's going to help along with the struggle. He's going to be at the bottom, I'm going to be at the top. That didn't take no time for our Rob's help there, did it, Rob? I know, look at the height now, look. Hey? 
What do you reckon to that, Will? Oh, that, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I've got your new grease nipples in my van. A new pack. Because I know you like nipples, Will. You like snapping pipes. Are we done then, boys? Yeah. yeah. Boys, say bye to the boys on YouTube. We're done. Right. Catch you on the next one, guys. I'm going home now. Sod it. We're all going home. See you later, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Right, get on that. Oh, look at that now. There's no excuse now, Rob, is there? No, look at that bad boy.